Hey everybody, it's Valen from Mischief of Mice, here with another episode of Mass Effect voice actor playthrough. So as I was saying, it looks like um, Nihilus, or Saren was uh, part mechanical in nature. Looks like uh, he was um, part Geth, or he looked like one of these husks, partially cybernetic, androidish kind of, perhaps. But Nihilus didn't seem very surprised by him either, so that was kind of weird. Oh, well, let me unlock these. I'll be right back. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! <laughs> I'm gonna interrogate everybody. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. It almost made it impossible to think. Hmm. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. Hmm. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Mm, a single pistol. That's all you were smuggling. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Thank you. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. And if you notice, uh, like the previous one, I actually have a blue comment at the top. This is the results of my uh, Paragon, as well as my Charm ability kicking in and giving me extra options. In uh, So therefore, as you can see, I already got some extra items out of it. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. I have to go. Good luck. Alright. Ah, there's the stuff that he gave me. Cool. Actually, I might, uh, pillage your bunker before going to check it out. Oh. Actually, electronic skill too low. I think it's time to level you up, Caden. Let's see here. You've got five points. One, two... And three. There we go. And you know what? We might as well give you barrier. And give you a level of sentinel. Myself. I think, well, my charm is still maxed out. So, uh, let's see. Decryption is good, but I do need a bit of barrier. Just so that I can uh, walk up front. And, uh, ooh. I see. It increases as you go. I will need first aid. Um... I tend to be the person carrying that, so at least one point in there isn't going to hurt anything. But I really, really, really need the Sentinel ability. One, two, three, four, because that basically boosts my pistol uh, in the only way that I possibly can. And as you notice, the accuracy of my pistol was terrible. So let's do Adrenaline Burst. And then we're going to give her one rank of Soldier just so that she can regenerate health. 
Alright, that should do it. Now, hey, easy electronics, not too bad. Oh dear. Commander, it's Nihilus. Yup. Let's check out these upgrade kit in with the bodies. Weird. Whoa. Ha ha ha! That was wonderful. <laughs> well, that actually is pretty awesome. I don't know how many times in a video game you walk into fire and you don't take any damage. <laughs> that was pretty good. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! What are you doing sneaking around back there? <laughs> I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. They almost My name's shot Pal. you. <laughs> I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Hmm. Hmm. You're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler. Who cares? My supervisor's dead. The entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? <laughs> Smuggle any weapons? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack <laughs> Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Hmm. Well, she's actually in the right, because those grenades may have saved her crew's life. Um, <laughs> sure the guy's pathetic, but I don't need to remind him of that. Just give me the grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Hmm. Hehe. <laughs> Blue. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Oh. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Sounds good. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. I guess I find out what that is at the end of the conversation. In the meantime, interrogations. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next. Those Geth were swarming over the platform. Thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Thousands of them? Hmm. Mm hmm. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... It was making this noise, this this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Wait, wait, wait. Woke you up? You were sleeping? I thought you were working here on the docks. I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. <laughs> you survived because you're lazy? 
<laughs> oh, I've worked with this guy before, I swear. <laughs> if you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Guilt trip. I don't really want to think about it. Well, I'll just keep reminding you as often as I can. We need to find that beacon <laughs> before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Yes, you do. Why don't you go take a nap? <laughs> Alright. Whoa, whoa! Got some trouble here. Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna put up my barrier since my shield's down and I'm taking fire. Meanwhile, I'm going to have... Ooh, that's right, overload. Um, you know, might as well have him do that now. Nice. That went well. Alright, next. Alright. Three down. A few more to go. I've taken some hits, though. Ooh, I don't know, Mr. Geth Destroyer with a shotgun. And if you notice, while I was shooting, aiming at his head, everything was hitting the center of his body. That is the whole helping you auto-aim thing that I really hate. And being a sniper in the past, it's very frustrating. There we go. Yeah, he was glitching out a little bit, but that's alright. Indeed it is. Let's keep going. Let's move up as fast and far as we can before we start getting attacked. Ooh, wow. Uh oh. That that's that's very bad. Very bad. I ran up way too quick and there's a Geth destroyer. That's That's very bad. Um so we're gonna have him try and use overload. Have her start shooting at him. And I am going to probably cast Barrier first, and then I'm going to uh, heal myself up if possible. Just so that I don't take any damage. There we go, and now that that's happened... Did he? He did not cast that yet. I guess he wasn't uh, up far enough yet. No, oh, he's right there! She's taking cover, he's taking cover. Alright. She never did that either. Attack. Attack. Okay, it's saying he's blocked now. Oh. Oh. Oh no, Caden's down. That's not good. There goes my support. Alright, well, let's see what I can do here. Come on. Alright, the big guy's out. So I've got that going for me. I'm gonna have her attack that guy, but she's also going to move up here. Poor Gaiden. Don't worry, he's just unconscious. Okay, Ashley, you are really upsetting me right now because I told you to go over here. So go over there. And now you can attack that guy, which is dead. Okay, you, you need to clear my line of fire, because I am just going to shoot you now. Oh boy. Don't worry, it doesn't actually hurt her. It's just very frustrating for me, because uh, she's got her own her own disagreeable AI. Uh, her character is uh, difficult enough as it is. They're too far away for me to really get a good throw on them. So, let's just run up here and hide. All right, perhaps... no, it's not back up yet. I could have her move here, then maybe she won't get in front of me. Maybe. We'll see. All right. Might be able to get a throw on... you know what? Let's try this guy here. Got him. All right. And you know battle's over when your crew gets back up off the ground. Woohoo! So. Yeah, that finished them off. Let me uh, 
do a heal and get everybody back up to a decent amount of health. I only got a couple metagels left. I made a big mistake charging in on that destroyer. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Yeah, even his teeth look like they're metal. <laughs> Interesting. Geth soldier. Setting very, very large charges. I wonder if those are like nukes or something. They look a bit large to be just a homemade stick of dynamite. Alright. Look, there's one right there. Demolition charges! The Geth must have planted them! <laughs> Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down! Do you think? <laughs> you guys are <laughs> miraculous. <laughs> Whoa. Oh shoot, I should have saved my run for crossing the bridge. <laughs> Alright. Perfect. Two of them together. Let's do... I will launch them and he's going to sabotage them. <laughs> okay, Caden, you're, you're just going to end up getting killed there. So why don't you go up here? And Ashley, you go up there. At the same time, you use barriers so that you don't end up. Ooh. Alright. Excuse me. Disarming another one. Hopefully, nobody runs up and gets to me while I'm doing this. Alright. See if we can scramble this guy a bit. Um, yeah. All right. Let's see if this actually does anything. Damages enemy shields within a certain radius. Perhaps it'll take these down. I guess we'll find out. No, does not affect those. Ha! <laughs> it's funny, he's not even using the shield anyway. Whoa! I'm gonna turn that on. No, you know, I'm just gonna try throwing him. Yep, that worked. Ashley, can you get up off the ground, please? Oh shit. <laughs> oh boy. This is not going to go well. I don't know if Caden uh, actually can do anything at this point, but I might as well give it a try while I try and uh, barrier myself up. There we go. That worked. I guess Caden uh, could do that after all. There's a bomb. Oh, there it is right there. So there's only one left. Alright. Couple of Geth troopers. Oh boy. And a husk. Whoa. We're just going to say... No. We're going to say... No thank you. And this one over here, hopefully he's going to throw as well so that these guys can get pushed further away. I'm not interested. Take out the ground troops first, then I can start taking out the snipers. Let's see about getting that guy done. One more to go. We go. Caden <laughs> went down as well. And they're back up. 
Oh my god, the last one's on the other side of the wall. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. Especially since I can't sprint. Oh my god, I must have missed it at the beginning. Come on, come on, come on! Faster! Oh, we've got plenty of time. Not a problem. Looks like I just went the wrong way at the very beginning. My bad. Boy, they give you plenty of time to disarm that stuff. Now to run all the way back. And yes, this is one of those games where it's worthwhile to go out of your way just to find that sneaky, distant stuff. Here we are, the Prothean Beacon. Looks like it's not too late after all, though they left it to be destroyed. Keep in mind I was actually standing on top of that thing when I hit that button. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing! Actual working Prothean technology! Unbelievable! It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Or two. <laughs> or three. She's used to his outbursts. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Hmm. Well... Um, I really couldn't tell you. It's a video game. So I'll just say, what happened? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. Yes. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. <laughs> this time, I think uh, I agree with the whole don't blame yourself, because all he did was walk near it. I was already standing on the thing earlier, so... He had every excuse to walk up. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even well, know if that's uh, what set it off. <laughs> Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Oh. Thanks. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. 
Hmm. I was. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Awkward picture. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. <laughs> Captain Anderson. <laughs> How's our XO holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I'm alright. Um, I can't really say I feel bad about Jenkins. He, he was Leroy Jenkins, so... <laughs> he makes me happy, actually. Um, I know what happened to William. She helped me get on board. I'm not really pissed about the Geth. I guess I'm, I'm fine. I'll live. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. <laughs> to hell with them! No, uh... Well, I guess we've got nothing really to hide. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. Hmm. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. Hmm, that probably doesn't help much, but he was there more for the beacon, I would imagine, than uh, to hate the humans. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Well, I have to say he was probably able to ally himself because uh, he looked like he was half Geth <laughs> on appearance. So... Perhaps he had a, a little insider's edge, but hmm. Uh, no, I I didn't really see much, but I'll just say I'm not sure. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. No, that was the other option. A vision. A vision of what? Hmm. A warning. A war. Let's say war. I saw synthetics. Never changes. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the council, Shepard. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> report that I'm having visions? No, we report everything else. The vision really won't make much difference, but. Um, <laughs> what are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? Exactly. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. Yep. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. <laughs> he has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I have a feeling that that's just a very happy aside. Or side note to his goals. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. Well then. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Alright. I think we're going to stop right there. And we'll continue next time.